President Obama is pushing his new plan to help U.S. companies insource, bring more jobs home. In his weekly address, the president urged Congress and businesses to get on board. And to help make his point, Mr. Obama showed off some items made in the USA. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano tells us how one U.S. company is insourcing. My name is Tiffany. How may I assist you today? After seven months of pounding the pavement, customer service agent Tiffany Edmonds is happy to be working steps away from her newborn son. I don't have to put him in daycare. I don't have to fight traffic. <laughs> gas, gas is very expensive. Our job is to educate the customer on the first contact. Janet Hess, a customer service instructor, came out of retirement when her husband became ill. I did not want to compete with a 25-year-old for a, a corporate position again. Both women are part of a trend to bring call center jobs back to the U.S. from overseas, a move that's actually better for business. If you're calling because you need to get your snowblower repaired, speaking with somebody in India who likely doesn't even know what snow or a snowblower is will be a very difficult conversation. I think really Angela Selden is co-chairman of Arise Virtual Solutions, a Florida-based company that's bringing 11,000 call center jobs back home to service Fortune 500 companies like Walgreens, AAA, and Carnival Cruises. Arise calculates that to solve a customer issue, overseas operators require 2.3 calls for every one call answered in the U.S. If you have to do two or three calls to get that single question answered, in the end, it's about the same or even slightly more expensive to have it done offshore. They're part of a hopeful trend. They are bringing jobs back to America. Selden was invited to the White House this week, where President Obama made a pitch to bring manufacturing jobs back home. She's creating thousands of call and sales jobs, bringing jobs back to the United States that have gone overseas in the last several years. And she had uh, some very specific ideas about how we could foster more of this reverse job migration. These are uh, call centers, basically. You're, you're, you're taking calls, your customer service person, about $14 an hour. It could Probably. range anywhere from 12 to $30 an hour, depending okay. upon so the type of work. So when I'm calling Carnival Cruise Lines, I could be talking to somebody who's working for you. You absolutely would be Virtual talking with someone who's working for us. That's yeah. an area that a lot of our viewers lot. right now are doing. Um, it's the people who answer inbound phone calls from their homes. We have um, this great woman, Denise, who is working for one of the companies, Arise. She's answering calls for Walgreens. And there are three companies, Arise, Alpine Access, and Working Solutions, that are going to hire seven thousand new agents before the end of this year but they will get ninety thousand applications to fill those positions so on the gma website we give you lots of tips to be able to navigate that process to make between eight and fifteen dollars an hour and denise who's doing this is making about fourteen dollars an hour working around thirty a little thirty plus hours a week and her grand total is $33,500, again, from her home she's doing from this. From her home, and can you pretty much set your own hours yes. when you do it? Yes, you can. And do you need a whole lot of background and training and computer skills? You don't need a ton of computer skill. Customer service skills, you definitely know how to ha how to navigate your computer. You, you can't be you know, a total novice in that area. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much your customer service skills, your ability to work online and phone, and they do lots of really good training for you. So it's, so a, it's a great opportunity. So this is part of the whole push toward contract work, toward doing work where you're not necessarily attached to a big company, but you're doing work from home. You might not have the big company benefits package either, but you are getting some work. That's right. What we're seeing is a real change in the way American workers think about the social contract with their employers. Right. They want flexibility. They want the ability to choose when they work and how often they work, mm -hmm. and they want to have the flexibility to choose which clients they service or and what they do. Our specialist today is the co-chairman of Arise Virtual Solutions, Angela Selden, and the mega panelist stuck around to ask her some questions. Thanks. Thanks, Angela, for, uh, for coming by today. So, I mean, you've got a presidential endorsement. And your what job we find ideas. is that families want to stay in local communities. People want to have the flexibility to be able to work from their home or be able to work when they have the opportunity to working around their family schedule. And this is an at-home call center. It These is. are people working at home. Absolutely. And so if they have a, a young child or sick parents or what have you, they need flexibility. So what this opportunity offers them is the ability to construct their own work schedule and work how often and, and when they choose, and choose the different companies they provide service for. And so we have folks that will uh, work 80 or 90 hours a week and can earn in the high $80,000 a year. So wow. it's, it's very lucrative.
Be your own boss and turn your work from home dream into a reality. In less than three days and for a minimal investment, you can be up and running with the Arise platform from your home office. Registering is quick and easy. You can do it on your smartphone. First step takes about 15 minutes, so close the door, shut off the phone, and tell the kids to come back later. If you haven't already, go to AriseWorkFromHome.com and click on the Register Now button. After you choose your country of residence, you'll be asked to review a few statements to ensure that you're well informed about and in agreement with the opportunity offered. Check the boxes, fill in your basic profile information. It's not complicated. Click the next button to move from page to page and make sure you fill everything out completely. Just like that, you'll have your own dashboard, you'll get a login and password, and you're on to the next step. See where it says background check under the assessment section. Click the Start Now button next to it. Background checks take just a few minutes to submit and cost you $7.95. They are run by an independent third-party vendor. The background check fee is paid directly to the company that conducts the search. Arise does not receive payment for this service. After you've submitted your social security number, you'll be taken to the background search company's website. It can take up to three days for the background check to complete. If you have any concerns related to your background check, email admissions at admissions.arise.com. Check your dashboard daily for a notification that it's been completed. Look for an envelope in the upper right hand corner and a welcome message from Arise. Upon completion, it's now time to sign the non-disclosure agreement. Instructions can be found in a message provided in the notification section as shown. After reviewing the instructions, click the Start Now button. Once you sign the non-disclosure agreement, you'll have immediate access to the names and details of all of the client programs and opportunities available using the Arise platform. In the final step, you'll register your call center company. If you're working for a call center company already in the Arise network, you will register the information of that company. If you're having trouble deciding what to do, take a look at the information provided on the AriseWorkFromHome.com website. When registering your own call center company or registering to work with a company already in the Arise network, be sure to have the company's EIN or tax identification number. It will be needed as part of this final step in the registration process.